Hello everyone. Today I'm going to do a basic tutorial in Visual Basic or Visual Studio about uh, some simple some simple elements of working with a data grid view. A data grid view is literally a data grid. Uh, you could think of it uh, as a interactable program programmable uh, Excel type spreadsheet thing where you can store information or transfer information to lay it out in a nicer way. So I'm going to keep this really simple. There are more advanced things you can do with it, but I'm going to show you how to add information to a data grid view. Now, right here, I have a data grid. It hasn't been customized. I have a text box and a button. The text box is text box what button uh, text box one. It's a uh, button one and the data grid view is data grid view one, as you can see here. So let's get started. This is really simple. So let's say I want to whatever I type inside this box, I want it to show up in the data grid view. Well, the first thing you have to do is that you have to set up the data grid view a little bit. Um, I'm not going to use a, a binding source. I'm not saving this to a database. This is just on screen. So first thing I want to do is I want to add a column. So I'm going to name the column um, text box. This is whatever I transfer from the text box text to box. OK, we're going to add it. And we don't want it so small, so we're going to edit. And then we're going to go down to, where is it? D -d 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 Auto scale, fill. There we go. Now it takes up the full width. Now, right now, if I start it off, here we go. You see the text, you see the, my form with my data grid view, my text box. Nothing happens. So all you have to do to get this information that you type here into here is click the button and you're going to add a command similar to this. Okay. Data grid view one dot rows, because this is a row going down, dot add, set up that bracket. And if you just wanted to put a static bit of information, you could just type something in and would put static information. But for this, we want the text box. So we'll take that out and we'll write text box one dot text. That's it. Now, when I start up the program, anything I type in here gets sent over. I can delete just by selecting the row, delete, delete. And you can do other things with this. Uh, I can make another button. Where is my buttons? Button. Here we go. And we'll rename this button to uh, um, clear. OK. Click that. Uh, if I recall, data grid view one dot clear. No, it's um, let me actually see. Uh, it's been a little while since I've had to use this. Ah, eh, see, look at me. OK, there we go. It's rows dot clear. <laughs> there we go. So I can type something in. Type something in, type a bunch of stuff in, or I can just add a bunch of stuff, and then I can just wipe it all out. Now let's say that you want to add multiple columns of information to this data grid view. Well, for this, first thing I would do is I have text box first and foremost. Let me um, add another text box. Okay. This will be text box two. And for here, I'm going to uh, add another column. Add another column. Boom. Okay, now this column name is going to be text box two. Ooh, oh, it's already in use. Oh, yeah, no wonder. Duh. Okay, text box uh, two uh, data grid V, DGGV. Copy, paste. You can name it whatever you want. It's just what's going to show up here. Okay, close. There we go. We got my two columns. Let me see if I could extend this out a little bit. I'm not going to worry about uh, sorting it. OK, now in button one, all I would do is put a comma text box two dot
text. There we go. And start the program. Now, I simply type in some stuff. Uh, text box one. Oops. My tab sorting is messed up. Text box two. And press the button. And there you go. It does it in order. Now, you can actually customize the exact fields uh, everything goes to, but that's probably a whole nother video in itself. And we'll clear it, and we'll add a bunch more. All right, guys, as always, thanks for watching. If you like what you see and you want me to make more of these videos, please do me a favor. Comment, like, subscribe, the whole enchilada. All right, guys, later.